Good morning and welcome. Um, we're just on our way now to Universal. We just uh, checked in quickly into our <coughs> hotel for the day, which is uh, Hard Rock, which I'll show you a little bit later. Uh, we're just using the walkway through now to get over to you Islands of Adventure. Um, it's now 20 past 7. The park opened early oh, access at uh, 7 o'clock. Yeah, we just tried to, to get onto the boat, um, unfortunately it couldn't fit us all on, so just a quick walk through the gardens, which I like anyway, uh, to head over to Islands of Adventure. Yeah, the reason why we uh, booked the Hard Rock uh, just for the one night is because you automatically get the express passes um, for your stay. So if you're staying one night, you get it for the day that you check in and the following day, which is, uh, which is a great bonus really, to be fair. It saves you 120 odd bucks, I think. So we just made it through security. Currently in City Walk, heading over to Islands of Adventure entrance. A welcome sign there. Yeah, we're in a bit of a rush this morning, so um, apologies for the rush with you. Um, but I'll have a bit more detail later on when things are calmed down. Hard Rock Cafe, Chocolate Emporium. I remember going in there last time we were here on the last trip and uh, I had a key lime milkshake, really really nice and the bottom I thought was a bit of shortbread or something put the whole thing in my mouth in one big bite of the lime, nasty. Approaching the Islands of Adventure now. We are. But it's a busy weekend I believe, it's a graduation weekend so Hence why the hotels have been quite packed and the parks have been quite packed, so I imagine this will be a busy one today. But hey, while it's busy, it's open. Here we are. I love the theming and everything here. And the music. Famous lighthouse, Islands of Adventure. Yeah, the crowds are coming in now, freaking fast. A lovely morning. Love the theming here at uh, Islands of Adventure. Oh, it's a Christmas shop. Pop into that a little bit later. Hoping that the weather holds out. One of the days that we're here, already here today and tomorrow for this week. Hopefully coming back next week, but I uh, really want to try and do the Mardi Gras parade if we can. Got Starbucks, might just stop in there now, quickly grab a coffee. Just walking from Zeus Landing. Hogsmeade Station. We we're just approaching Hogsmeade. Love the theme in here. Fantastic. What's going to be like today? I'd like to see what this looks like later. <laughs> Snowman. I think we're going to 
try heading to Forbidden Journey, it's only a 15 minute way. Yeah, unlike Disney, uh, most of the rides here at Universal, um, you're not allowed to take anything on board with you, so you need to use a locker. Just gonna go over to lockers now, put our bags away. Uh, please scan your park ticket at the locker station as a green light. Remember to keep your ticket with you at all times. You will need your park ticket to re-enter the locker after arriving. All loose articles must be placed in lockers including cell phones, wallets, bags and loose change. Remember to keep your park ticket with you at all times. You will need your park ticket to reopen your assigned locker. Likely. We've just come off the, uh, what's the bit of journey, was it? Yeah. It's still a good ride, um, but I do warn you if you suffer motion sickness or phobia, it can make you feel a bit icky. It certainly made me feel icky. I closed my eyes. Just filming all the iPhone here because we found all the old express pass for the flight ahead for it. So we couldn't go on that. Well, we're just leaving uh, Hogsmeade. The kids have had uh, a second go on the Forbidden Journey. I uh, couldn't go on that again. So, uh, not such a short time and space between the two rides because, uh, yeah, my motion seat was terrible on that. Uh, great ride, I thought, but uh, especially if you've never been on it before, I don't know what to expect. But it's. Um, yeah, it made me feel a little bit sick. So we're heading over to Hagrid's Motorcycle Adventure. Hopefully the wait won't be too long. Um, at the moment, crowds are looking okay. Weather's holding out. It's still due to come in um, around about 12 o'clock. Um, the dodgy weather front, so we'll see how it goes. we just come off Hagrid's now. What a great ride. Great ride, what do you think guys? I know, it's brilliant, it's my favourite ride now. Yeah, it was a great ride, that is so awesome. First time we've been on there. I posted oh, the wrong mate. camera. You put, uh, <laughs> great, great ride. <coughs> we're just going to head over to uh, guest services now. Uh, cause we're going to look at uh, some annual passes. Um, just to see if we can upgrade to, from our current passes to the, uh, to the uh, annual passes. Um, we're also close to currently 35 minute wait, which isn't bad, so we're going to try and head on to that and then get, uh, get a bite to eat, refreshments, and have a look around before we go on anything else. We've got express passes, so there's no rush for anything. But yeah, it's right, so time to have a little bite to eat and some light refreshments. Uh, we wanted to try and get into that uh, Mythos restaurant, it's supposed to be quite nice, it's won awards. Uh, for best theme park restaurant, uh, but unfortunately, opens at 11 and kids are tuning at the club at the moment. So, uh, we ended up going to Fire Eaters Grill. Um, and we got some chicken nuggets with a kid with some fries and chicken stingers over here, which no doubt will sting at some point. And some Diet Cokes. And the bill came to how much with our annual pass discount? Fifty-six dollars. So let's uh, let's try some of this, mate. Let's see how hot it is. Let's see if it's spicy. Not as hot as one here yesterday. 
Mmm. Very nice. A little bit spicy, but not too bad. Yeah, I quite like that. <laughs> What's your chicken nuggets like, Mark? They're nice, are they? Yeah. We're just heading to uh, Jurassic Park River Adventure. Great theming again, as always. Great theming. Thank you. The Jurassic Park Information Check. Great expression. So, we've just come off the uh, river adventure for Jurassic Park. Um, promised Mark we wouldn't get wet. <laughs> it's such a good hey, Mark, ride. Hey Mark, you like that? Why not? That was a great ride. What did you think, Mace? Such a good ride. It wasn't that bad. Would you go on it again, Mark? Just walking through the Jurassic Park area. And I keep saying, the theming, the theming, the theming is great. But it is great. Look at this. See if we get some images of the coast going by. It's a raptor encounter. If you want to go and get yourself beside the raptor. Great photo of that. I'm not doing that today. See if we can get a bit more of the track layout here. There's a top hat. You get a shot with the train going by. I've not ridden this before, so I don't know whether or not this is the uh, the first launch or the second launch. But, hey. Pizza Predatoria. If you're hungry, pizzas and soft drinks. So Mark, you got over being wet yet? No, head. <laughs> Hair looks great, mate. <laughs> burger digs. Your burgers and fries. It's carnival games. This is all in the Jurassic Park area. You have your dino store. If we get time, we'll pop into some of these. See what type of merchandise they have for those that are interested. Discovery Centre. Take a peek in here. I've seen videos and stuff you on the that's where you get your fast service from the dino restaurant. Dinosaur. Fossil there. Some great views of the truck outside there as well. So we've got some merch here at the Discovery Centre. T-shirts, hats, sun visors, some kid toys. Plushes. Masks. Looks like I have some interactive stuff here as well. How to operate the pre-emergent nursery scanner. You worked it out. What have you done? You got an egg, you got an egg in there. That's what I said, you got an egg in there. Alright. Slide carrier into scanner, there you go. So what's this? Right. What you 
slide it across and it scans it. Slide across until bone structures are seen. So maybe slide that thing at the bottom. Oh, there you go. Ah, we have an image. Do we know what it is? No, I don't think you're very good at that. I think I should just stop doing it. This is where you do the DNA sequencing. Welcome to Mr. DNA. Are you fast or strong? You're a carnivore and you're strong. Small or large? I think it's small at the moment. Large. Right, so there's your profile. Carnivore, strong, large, solo. Struggling to actually hear what he's saying on here. Oh, so look into there, I think, and then press the button, Mark. Press the button. So look in the screen below. Right, press the green button, Mark. Did it scan your brain? Have you pressed the button? Oh, there you go, look, there's your brain. It looks like a pizza. So that's what you really look like, Mark. Right, so step three, DNA scan. I don't know what this is. The sample of your genetic code allows to allows the sequencer to begin recombination with your donor dinosaur. Oh wow. Just analysing your sample now. There we go, it's doing your sequencing. And now it's looking at your DNA fusion. Oh, so this is going to be the outcome of all of this. Uh, <laughs> not, let's see what happens here. Oh, oh there you are, look. <laughs> There's you, Mark, look. <laughs> 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 There you go, Mark's DNA fusion of a dinosaur. That was fun. Here you can personalise your uh, ID badge. Oh, I want to try and get out of shot so it doesn't mess up with this image. Over here you have a raptor. More merch, goodies, and t shirts. I thought there was long sleeve t shirts there. It looks like some uh, dinosaur masks. Yeah, dinosaur masks. Yeah, great. That's the Discovery Center in Jurassic Park. I think you found a live baby dinosaur there. How cute is that? Would you like to come say hi? Here, I'll come on over here to you. Now watch those horns. Okay. Oh, she likes hats. She's a big fan of the hats. Oh. Good job. Would you like to come to the camera real quick? Here, stand uh, here. Why don't you stand here and then don't stand here. Here, put your hand right underneath your head. Pull your head up for me. Here you go. Oh, that's great. Wow. Thank you. T-Rex. I'm not sure what the long necks are called. <laughs> Heading over to Velocicoaster now. Um, can't wait. It's a 60 minute wait. We're looking forward to the uh, queue log. I believe it's amazing. We'll just get some footage for you. See if we can get a shot here. We're going over the uh, top hat.
What do you think, guys? Oh, oh my god. You've got it right, this guy. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The most intensive thing I've ever been in, but smooth at the same time. Um, hard to explain, really. But it's awesome. Absolutely awesome. Best ride of the day, I think. I think so, too. Yeah, you must try to ride this ride. Yeah, so when you look at the ride from the outside, it looks perfectly smooth, looks lovely and easy. You know, we, we did know it's going to be intensive, but until you're on it, my God, the accelerations that you get on there. I think there's three, is it three launches yeah. we get? And especially the one over the top pack. I had no idea where I was. Um, I have to go on it again, it's just to uh, see if I can see a bit more, but look at it. It just, uh, it just doesn't look as fast as it is. Mental. If you're interested in buying any of the photo passes, um, for one day photo pass of all your photos at the uh, Universal, uh, worked out with our annual pass, $99. Uh, but for two days, 107 a bargain. Maybe you just want to stop off by this booth. Ooh, it's mystic. T-shirts and symbols. That's a nice material. Some key rings. Some jewelry items. This is nineteen dollars. Bracelets. Nineteen dollars on the shirt. This is twenty-nine, but this feels like it's a uh, like a uh, uh, how do you call them things? Those, what do you call those dry fit type? It's a dry fit. It feels, yeah, it feels like a dry fit type shirt. Yeah, it's a dry fit. Goodbye, Lost Continent. Probably pop back and see you tomorrow. From this section here of Zeus Landing, um, you've got a great shot here of both Velocicoaster. You've got going up the top of that. Awesome, that bit. And that barrel roll at the bottom is also great. You get like uh, plenty of air time in that bottom as well. But it's so fast you actually don't don't know where you are until it's until it's over. I need to go on it again, keep my eyes open. And over this side, we have the Hulk. Yep, that's what we got on next. And Doctor Doom's towers as well. That's it. Just launched out. That's what we're going on next. It's a good ride. It is a good ride. And then I think Daddy's about ready to go on this type of ride. Mark, I think this is the type of ride Daddy's Daddy's head can take now. That one there. It's about as, it's about as awesome I want to go. Really. Right, we just come off the hole. Awesome ride. Um, more intense than I remembered it from the last time. Um, a bit different when you compare it to Velocicoaster. Velocicoaster, awesome, fast, smooth, intense. This one, I, I wish I hadn't put my head back. Um, so I think we'll put my head back. We we're quite close to the back row. Um, gave me a bit of a headache. Uh, not to say that anything's bad about the ride, it's a great ride. Um, but yeah, um, very intense, very intense. A lot uh, a bit rougher than I than, than I, I, I experienced the last time around, I think. But that might have been just because I came with Velocity Coaster. Um, but yeah, we weren't allowed to uh, obviously take anything in there at all. We don't do metal detectors and stuff. So I've uh, got some, some footage. Heading towards the uh, Marvel area, um, see if we can uh, perhaps get on Spider-Man. 
Oh, and we got one of the Marvel characters just over there. Wolverine. Doctor Doom's full. Let's go over there and have a look anyway. I don't particularly like these type of drop towers. So there we have it. Doctor Doom's vehicle. Mark just trying out the seat. Not a hope in hell of him going on that. Do you want to go on, Mark? Do you want to go on? No. God, it's 26 degrees out today, but it doesn't feel 26 degrees. Um, it's, it, don't tell me wrong, it's nice, lovely warm, but it's a nice little breeze, so, yeah, happy with today's weather. So far, touch wood, 12 o'clock supposed to be coming in the, uh, the dodgy weather from yesterday, but we'll see. Quickly walk into the Marvel store, just before we go into Spider-Man. I wouldn't know what's new merch and what isn't. I'm not a local, sorry. Nice tumbles and mugs. I do like these mugs actually. They're embossed. The comic book t shirt's quite nice. $35 for these ladies though. Spider-Man action figures. Venom t-shirt. $25. No piece of pajamas, they look like pajamas. See how much these are. $57. $27. Vest top. That's a nice colour, nice material that. $35 though that. <laughs> that's a big robe. It's like a comfy fro. Just in Spider-Man at the moment. Just on the uh, at the entrance of the express pass. Can't film on this ride, so we'll catch up with you once we've been. From what I remember, it was a cool ride, but let's see. What did you think of Spider-Man, guys? It's a good ride. Yeah? Boring. Boring? Yeah, boring. <laughs> boring. What I do you like think? It. Yeah. Well, I quite liked it too. I thought it was, uh, it was a good ride, actually. I couldn't remember it from the last time. It's quite clever the way it's done. It's starting to drizzle now, so I'm hoping it's just a drizzle. Um, so we're going to just finish things up here at Universal. Islands of Adventure and head over to Universal Studios because a few more rides will be indoor there so hopefully we'll be caught um, we'll be caught in the way. There's Mark with his Stan Laurel's face. Yeah. What are you waiting on? Definitely warming up, isn't it? Right. What are you waiting on, Mark? Ah, you weren't expecting that, were you? Just on our way over to uh, the Hogwarts Express, over to Universal Studios. There's Ripsaw Falls. Not a bit of a drop pad. Let's have a quick look at this, Mark. Definitely would have got wet on that one, mate. Me and Mark are on our way onto the Kong ride. King Kong. Want King Kong, yeah. This is one that Maisie wants to sort of sit out. Um, she doesn't like the loud voices in that condition. Uh, so me and Mark part the sun time on the Kong ride. <laughs> Mark, you've gone all blurry, mate. This ride is it's a bit of a motion ride. So you sit on a boat, and I sit on a car, and like an explorer, and King Kong comes out. And he 
saves the day. They were gonna stop filming now, I don't think we're allowed to film in here. See you in a bit. What do you think of Kong? Is what? It was, it was good, it was really good actually. Uh, I don't I can't remember it from the last time. Cleverly done. I believe they took it away and then they brought it back. So I'm glad they did. It's a good ride. You enjoyed it, yeah? Cool. The car was used in the movie, Jurassic Park. I'm not sure whether it's because of people worried about the weather. Because the park does seem look bit does seem to look quite busy, but some of these rides like Kong, 30 minute wait, like 25 minute wait, uh, the river ride, Jurassic River rides, that's a walk on. Um, you know, even the uh, Velocicoaster, that was only a 35 minute wait. So the only, the only one that seems to be a big wait is the uh, uh, Hagrid's. Uh, but everything else seems to be pretty reasonable, so a good day to come today. But could we talk a little bit too soon? We're heading to Universal Studios now. Could be completely different. It looks really busy, but we, yeah, we just walked past. We just walked past the Lost Coaster, and um, yeah, it's only a 40-minute wait now. It's 35 earlier, but it's only a 40-minute wait. It's a good uh, about an hour ago since we've been there. But yeah, we're just making our way to Hogsmeade Express uh, to the um, Hogsmeade Station to get the train to Universal or King's Cross, should I say? Keep it in theme, Mike. Keep it in theme. Three broomsticks. Oh, I actually want to try going in there. Mark, would you like to have that box there? Chocolate, chocolate frog. Could size it up one. Yeah. <laughs> I just spoke to one of the cast members there at Ma uh, Hagrid's motorcycle adventure. That's a 50 minute wait only, which is as good as you're going to get. Unfortunately, the holiday's over. We're on the way to the train back to London's King's Cross in Orlando, Florida. Is our train back to King's Cross? I've only ever been on a train on the way here to Hogsmeade. And on the way here we had the uh, Dementors, I think. So I'm not sure if it uh, has the same theming on the way back.
Spiders. 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 They're looking for a shot, right? Oh, did you really have to do that? Honestly, Rob, they're just sweet. detail of this place is great. We're exiting now King's Cross. So clever. I know it's old but still can't go around clever. And now we are officially at Universal Studios. It's awesome the way these guys interact. Conductor. The way he interacts with the kids and people's funny. Mark's gone and opened the door, see if he can get creature's attention. There he is. I'm not sure if you saw him there, but you knock on the door and creature comes to the window. Um, I don't know if I zoomed in on time. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Looking at the skies now, looks like I'm feeling the the humidity in the air, I think there's going to be a thunderstorm. Um, I don't know if you can see the sky. But we're going to head into Diagon Alley and grab ourselves a brew of butter beer. Yes. We may have a little ride on the uh, Escape from Gringotts. There we are. Put it supplies. Weasleys. Wizards wheezes. Hey, Baker Hazel. Look at him. Wow. I've not been in here before. You. All the bags of tricks from the Weasley brothers. Nose bleeding nugget. Fainting fancies. Fever fudge. Dark mark lollipop. <laughs> Exploding what? Snap. <laughs> Thought that man in there was uh, one of the statues animatronics, but it wasn't. We're going to take a wander into the leaky butthole. Sorry, leaky cauldron. See if we can get some butter here. It's heaving it here at the moment, so I'm not sure what it's like inside here. Hopefully, we can get some butter beer and mark some water. 
Well, that's a no. Won't be going in there. Too busy. Out. I'm on the iPhone as well because the battery on the camera's run out and we haven't got the bag with the extra batteries 
Um, it absolutely poured it down, it hadn't stopped. Um, it's been raining now for two and a half hours, it's supposed to be raining all night. Uh, so we're back to the hotel, we're staying tonight at the Hard Rock. Um, there's Maisie. Hello. And Mummy. And Ma. Um, we're just about to have a bite to eat. We're at the kitchen um, downstairs in the Hard Rock. Um, what are you so, huh? What, are you what am I having? I'm having a half pound burger. There's three of them coming and you're having mac and cheese. Yeah. Uh, so the beer is here, the wine is here. We're going to have a chill that night. I'll probably get some more footage a little bit later if I can. Um, and uh, we'll continue our trip tomorrow. Hopefully you'll be a bit more productive. <laughs> this is the burgers that we got. I'm going to show you all three because they're all the same. That is massive. Mark's mac and cheese there. How is that Mark? All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you won't share it. Proper nice. But it, again, this is on my iPhone, so I don't have the tripod to cut into it and show you, but I can guarantee you it's going to be lovely. Put me a bit, another bit there. So I was just about to do a video to say, here's a little bit for me, and there's a little bit for Claire. It shows the size of the, you know, this is a proper sort of, a proper dessert tray. Amazing. She's eating hers. Oh, he can eat. And that's what we still got there. <laughs> so, hey guys, finally have my camera back now after all the trauma with the rain and the batteries going flat and the other batteries being packed in cases and whatever. We're finally in our room at Hard Rock after our meal. That kitchen sink uh, dessert, lovely, but we really polished that off and we still have enough to feed about 22 people uh, we're in our room now so um this is it so give you a quick very quick look around and obviously the bathroom little vanity area there with a sink two king size beds Couple of seats. Hello. Comfy. Comfy. These kids are wrecked. Mind you, they've been very good because it's been a long day. Freezing. It's been raining through most of it. We've been trucking through all that rain and. Uh huh? Raining through most of it. Yeah, through most of it. Yeah, raining. Raining through most of it. Yeah, 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 of course, yeah. There we go, there we go. So this is our room for the night. Very pleased with it. Very comfy. No, Love this mirror. To get into that bed. I don't know if you can see this mirror, if it will actually. Yeah, there we go. so this mirror is positioned so you can see all these different stars, <laughs> musicians, and the heights. You can just stand next to it and see how tall these people were, and then you'd be surprised. Well, actually, I thought it was taller than them. I thought I was smaller than them, but there yeah. we go. So. That's great. Yeah, you are that officially was like the size. Shirley Temple. <laughs> yeah, when she was four. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, so that was us for today. Um, sorry, it was uh, a little bit hit and miss with the videoing, but we are back there tomorrow, and hopefully we'll have a little bit more detail of stuff and a few more uh, adventures, and we will take it from there. So. Bye for now. Adios. All right, Mark. Just, uh, <laughs> just be you, yeah. <laughs> Say good night. Nana.